Okay, welcome back to Hooked Up Video. I'm here with Ben from Savage Trailers and we're gonna ask him some questions about his trailers and I'm gonna give you some feedback and uh, show you how this trailer works because it's absolutely awesome. So Ben, um, thanks for coming along. No worries, mate. What was the reasoning for you uh, doing a bunk series in, in your pro series of trailers? Really started with the uh, commercial market, wanting a simple, no moving parts type trailer that didn't damage the hull. That's really where it started from. I think that if you were someone that's new to boating and you're a little bit nervy about driving your trailer on and off, which mm. uh, driving your boat on and off, sorry, which a lot of guys are when they're new to it, yep. this is a much better system to have. Yep. Um, it's easier. As you can see, the boat drives on really easily. Even if you've got a bit of a crosswind going against the water like we do now, still really easy. It's basically just getting the nose in between the two bunks and, that, and then it drives on. Definitely, that's the beauty of it is you've really just got to point the nose between the two bunks. Once she loads up on the poly in the middle, the boat will rectify itself and you slow drive it up. So the boat doesn't actually sit on those poly skids in the centre though, does it? No, it doesn't. It sits on the two bunks. That's right. And that's where we started with the commercial guys. They were sitting their boats on the poly. The poly was doing substantial damage to the keels. So by lifting it up off the poly, we've got the advantages of having an easy drive on, drive off trailer without the potential damage of the keel sitting on the poly. And then also there's no rubbing from the rollers because there's no rollers or anything exactly like that. Exactly right. Another big point of this trailer is it's alloy. It's extremely light. What do you think the weight saving is, galvanised versus alloy? In this size trailer, you're going to be looking at about 150 kilos, possibly 200. Um, and obviously, as you get bigger, sort of once we get up into the three and a half ton range, we're potentially saving 300 kilos plus. It's really important for me, you know, when I'm out doing videos or just doing stuff with the magazine, that it's easy to launch and retrieve by myself. Sometimes I am by myself, or I've just got a cameraman with me who can't back down a boat, can't drive a boat. And it's been a really easy system, and up at the pointy end of the trailer is where that system's been fantastic. So can you just take us through how you set that up down there? Sure, no problem. Basically, we start with the winch post here. The winch post is uh, something we use on all our pro series. It's something we went back to the drawing board and redesigned to make sure that we had strong enough gussets in the rear of it, big enough plates in the bottom, and some plates here in the, in the winch holder to ensure that we weren't getting breakages through that area. Um, then we've basically gone to high quality components in the Fulton F2 winches, which are pretty much fail safe winch. It's about the best winch you can put on in the market. Um, and the Alco IQ7, which is assembled here in Dandenong by Alco, and we have great backup service, and the product works fantastically with no battery backup and no breakaway switch. So it's very simple. Again, less maintenance, less things to change over. Yep. Um, and on top of that, positioning and the spare wheel, we found fairly important for people to be able to use that as a step to get on the front of their bike. Yeah, which I do on their own. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, which has been really great. Yep. And if uh, someone wants to get in contact with you, what's the uh, web address? Savagetrailers.com.au and the email address is savagetrailers at bigpond.com.